If you are a fleet owner, a recruiting manager, or just someone in need of reliable drivers, you are in the right place. After working with over 500 trucking companies across North America, I will share my best proven strategies for finding and hiring drivers who will stick around for the long haul. From finding drivers to conducting interviews to keeping them on your team, we've got you covered. So buckle up because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to build a top-notch driving team or expand your current one. Finding good, reliable drivers, it's one of the most, if not the most, challenging parts of running a trucking business at times. Why? Because being a truck driver is a hard job and not too many people want to do it. Simple as that. The first step in finding the right drivers for your trucking business is to understand who is the driver you are after. Are you looking for long haul truckers who can handle cross country roads? Or maybe you need local delivery drivers who know the ins and outs of your city streets. Start by making a list of qualifications and skills you need on a driver you're looking for. Minimum experience you need on a driver, according to your insurance. Do your drivers need a clean driving record? Are there specific certifications or licenses they must have? I know you already know this and you have it all in your mind, but write it down. You'll be surprised how many trucking companies I work with medium-sized fleets to large fleets who don't have this in writing. They're just winging it with their job posts and putting unclear messaging on the kind of driver they want. I have attached a template for you to download. I want to share with you something I have developed over the years while helping trucking companies recruit drivers on their own. It's called the Pyramid of Finding Drivers. The easiest drivers to find are at the very bottom of the pyramid, which is the local drivers. A fair majority of drivers want to be home every day. And then you have the slip seating guys. You'll typically see slip seating happen mostly in the local positions. It's hard to see those at times because drivers don't like to share their trucks. It's their office on wheels, really. Who wants to swap their office every time they come back to work? Then you have the regional drivers, and then the hardest ones are over the road drivers who are out on the road for two, three, four weeks at a time. If you sprinkle specialized freight on top of this hiring pyramid, then you're adding another layer to find those drivers. Once you know what you're looking for, it's time to cast a wide net and start searching for potential drivers. There are plenty of places to look for potential drivers, both online and offline. I'm going to cover the most effective and the easiest ones with you. So if you want to hire the drivers who will stay with you for a long time, you need to look in places where most trucking companies don't. It starts with not using job boards, Indeed or Craigslist. I understand when you think of filling a position in your trucking business, the first thing that comes to your mind is job boards. It may be right to do so for any other position, but not when you're looking for good, reliable drivers. So there are two reasons why. Number one, think about your top driver. If you employ any amount of drivers, do you think they are looking for another job on job boards all day? No, they're busy hauling your loads for your customers. So how do you expect to find the exact driver for your business? Most drivers you find from job boards are job hoppers. And if you are a smart fleet owner, you don't want to give your couple hundred thousand dollar equipment in hands of somebody that's not reliable. Number two, mega carriers. If you go on Indeed or Craigslist, type in CDLA and city or state you are in, you'll see thousand different driver jobs being offered from million different trucking companies. The people on the top of the page are paying the most money to be on the top of the job board. And which is usually the big carriers who have the money to stay on top of that page. And let's say you as a trucking business are able to get on top of that page, then you can't compete with the big sign on bonuses being offered by these large carriers. It's a losing battle. Another thing small to medium trucking companies fall trap off is recruiting agencies where you think if someone just provides you the driver, you can see the truck and keep trucking. I wish that was the case. 
The problem is most good drivers will never want to talk to a middleman. Now, how do you escape this rat race and attract qualified drivers? I will tell you how you can do it in three easy steps. But first, if you want to know what medium to large trucking companies are doing to make more money, grow their trucking businesses faster and smarter, you need to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications. Why? Because I'm the guy who is working with the big dogs very closely to grow their trucking companies. Now back to the video. This is how you can escape the driver recruiting rat race and attract qualified drivers in three simple steps. First, create a Facebook and Instagram business page. It's free and you should have it as a trucking business anyway. If you already have one, then great. Just update it with some new pictures of your trucks and anything about your business, but make sure to have people's faces on it. Faces build trust. So when potential drivers check you out, they know that you are real and this is an active page or a business. Show them that it's not a ghost town. Second, take out your phone and record a simple selfie video telling exactly the kind of driver you're looking for, just like the way you wrote it down in that exercise earlier in the video. Let me give you an example. I'm looking for a drive-in driver who has over three months of experience on the road who lives in Houston area and wants to make up to 60 cents per mile while being home every single weekend. If you like what you hear, click on this video to chat with me right now. Third, you post it on your Facebook page and hit the boost button at the bottom and put the budget to $20 a day. I have a detailed video on how to do it. I've linked it above for you to see how I'm doing it hands on. Now the great thing with this strategy is you'll receive messages from drivers who want to work for you or are interested and want to learn more. You just need to chat back and ask for their phone number and have a call. When you get them on a call, ask them what attracted their attention to your trucking business. That's the great thing about this method. If you are engaging with drivers who are not actively looking for another carrier, those drivers tend to stick for the long haul with the trucking business. They will tell you why they liked you in the first place and what made them reach out to you and connect. Ask them questions about how much experience they have and what have they done in the past and see if you can train them or can hire them immediately because of the experience they bring to the table. Now from listening to hundreds of recruiting calls with drivers, I have learned that you need to make it conversational. Don't data dump on a driver when they ask you, what do you offer? A rule of thumb for a great recruiting call interview is 70% of the time the driver is talking and 30% of the time you are talking. Now don't hesitate to cut the potential driver off and ask questions because some people just like to talk. Again, I see this all the time. The driver starts telling you about their life saga for an hour and you feel obligated to listen to them to build rapport. You are not being rude. You are just doing your job. Interrupt and say, John, what you're saying to me is important, but I want to come back to that. I want to ask you a question though, and get back onto the track. Ask them qualifying questions. That's all. Now, in addition to online channels, consider the power of word of mouth in your current driver network. Almost every trucking company I speak to says the best way for them to hire more drivers has been through their current drivers spreading the word around. What you need to do is have a referral bonus. Now, how do you decide how much money you should pay if they refer a driver to get hired? The rule of thumb is 1.5x of your cost per hire. Why do you want to pay 1.5 times more than what it costs you to find a driver yourself because your time is valuable and it's worth paying the driver extra to save you time. There you have it. Everything you need to know about finding and hiring driver for the long term. Remember, it's not about filling a position. It's about building a team of good, reliable, long-term drivers who will help you grow and bring more drivers.